This is the cricothyrotomy training prop. Just want to show you a couple things about how we use it. This is a 3D printed prop that also works as a storage box. So it has a strap to keep everything secure and the lid and the box. So the box itself actually stores all of the equipment that you see that we will use for both needle and surgical cricothyrotomy. And it becomes the base that you can use for your training purposes. It's good if it's on a surface that doesn't allow it to slide too much. A couple things to be aware of, there's a separate piece that is actually the structure for the cricothyroid membrane location, and that needs to be on there in the correct direction, obviously. And the way we do this is we use tape. We have two different types of tape. The first tape is a, is a mostly clear cellophane tape that is used to simulate the cricothyroid membrane. So you need to place it, obviously, over that opening and that represents the cricothyroid membrane. And then the thicker tape, the foam tape, is used to simulate the skin. So you can tear or cut a piece of tape that's an appropriate size and lay it over the top. Once you have that done, you're ready to go and ready to proceed practicing this skill. After you've cut into this, you can move the skin tape, the foam tape, and reposition it and use it more than once just to make it last a little longer, but the cricothyroid membrane tape needs to be replaced each time to make it realistic. When you're done using the prop, then you're going to put everything back inside. It will all fit, but you need to use, put the tape in sideways. So if you set the tape in first, the little gumbuji will fit if you kind of set it around um, the edges of it, and then everything else will fit inside, and we can strap it back up and secure it and makes it nice for being able to store it that way or to transport it.